Hi everyone, welcome back to another For Those Who Code video. This channel is where we discuss and learn new skills around the topic of design and development. If you want to grow your skills and learn new things that's coming up, please like, share and please do subscribe for more. In this video, we'll be discussing how we can authenticate our Next.js application with Google. If you guys don't know what is Next, Next is a full stack open source React framework for production application by the company named Vercel. Well, for this demo purpose, we'll be using Next Auth for our authentication, which makes implementing authentication a breeze inside of Next application. So uh, we'll be also be adding some protected routes for our application, where users would only be ab able to access the routes unless logged in. You can find the code repository uh, of this video attached down below in the description as well. So let's take a look at what we'll be building. So we'll be building this simple Google authentication with Next um, and Next Auth. So we just have a button for now and if we just click sign in, we'll be redirected to this particular page where we just have a Google um, authentication for now. And uh, after clicking on this one, and I'll be here um, and I can select uh, any accounts uh, that I want and I um, select an account and here I have successfully um, logged in and you can see uh, the name and the email as well. And uh, furthermore, we can also uh, visit our uh, protected route named home screen and we can see here dashboard protected route can be also be accessed. And let's go ahead and sign out. And if we sign out and visit that particular home screen, then we won't be already um, be inside that route instead of we will be redirected to a different route. So we'll be building this particular simple application. So without any delay, let's get started. Now let's bring up our VS Code here. You can use any ID you want to. And inside of our terminal, we can start a new next project with uh, two commands. Basically, uh, let's go to uh, our documentation and inside of our setup, we can see two options available. So we'll stick in with yarn. Let's give our project a name and we will ju be just giving uh, next Google Auth. Looks like our project has been successfully created. Now let's navigate inside this project. Now let's take a look at our package.json. And um, as you can see here, uh, it's pretty much lean. We just have React, Next, and React DOM as our uh, dependency. And let's add one dependency that we'll be using, which is next auth. So we'll just add yarn add next auth. And instead of pages, we want to create a new directory inside of our API. So before we create any new directory uh, inside of our API, let's go to our next auth and go to get started. And inside here, we can see here that um, we need to create file name with this uh, particular format which is dot dot next auth dot js inside of pages api slash auth and copy in, in some of the snippets available to us so let's go ahead and create this particular file first so inside of our next auth we will start writing our authentication so uh, let's grab in what we have here so let's paste it over here and let's go uh, one by one to this code uh, let's remove all the comments that we have uh, because we will be uh, editing this uh, stuff available to us. First of all, we have a GitHub provider for uh, our authentication, but if you go to our providers here, we can see a bunch of uh, providers available to us so th that we can use uh, to authenticate. And we'll be just going with um, Google for now. So uh, let's grab in our import from here, uh, which we'll be using. So we will just replace GitHub um, provider with Google provider and inside of our uh, default here everything looks fine but we will be replacing this with our Google provider so let's copy this particular thing and uh, paste it right in here and which should be Google provider and uh, everything looks fine now we will keep this as it is and let's add a comma here and uh, we also need to add an optional um, thing that's available to us which is this particular authorization uh, URL which is an also an option that we can pass so let's copy it and let's paste it right in here so after everything is done we will also add like JWT 
to um, an object which takes in uh, encryption, which would be true. And we will also add uh, another um, stuff, which is secret, which would be process.end um, dot secret. And uh, after this has been done, this is pretty much it, what we need. So everything uh, is uh, looks fine as expected. So ev uh, now we can move on to another section, which is um, uh, adding a callback. So basically, uh, we can use this property to restrict and access people to uh, verified accounts to a particular domain. We can use uh, this callback after we have this provider uh, being called. So um, this is just a callback function after this um, Google provider is being called. Down here, we can uh, add callbacks, which would be an async function, which takes in JWT and add token and account as a parameter. And inside here, um, let's check if account and use some optional chaining here, access token. Um, if account has an access token, then we will uh, say token dot access token uh, would be is equal to account dot access token. So uh, this is pretty much it. And let's return our token right in here. And after it's done, let's uh, move on to our next line. And let's add some redirect so that uh, we will redirect um, our our um, routers uh, so to say we'll add redirect which would be um, an async function and we'll just remove function for now and add URL and base URL URL as uh, parameter but for now we will won't be using the base URL so we will just add underscore there and if um, uh, let's check if the URL is uh, strictly is equal to a route so we will just create a route called profile and if it's is equal to profile then we will redirect it um, to home page route which would be promise.resolve and we will pass in the route right in here so uh, which would be a home route so um, if and uh, else we will just add promise.resolve and we will also add our home route here. So everything looks fine except we just don't need that and the commas are not mandatory but uh, it's fine. Yeah, this is basically it to uh, our next auth.js and let's move on to another file where we will be writing our code uh, to um, our app.js so inside of app.js we need to wrap our component uh, with a provider so let's wrap this one with a provider uh, as you can see here in this particular section we, we can see pages uh, underscore app.js and uh, it's importing a system provider from next auth v uh, we will be dealing with this part uh, pretty much similar but we will be importing um, our provider itself so import we will destructure provider from the next auth client and um, now let's it, it must be provider not profiler so let's wrap our um, overall component here I will just cut this one out add the provider here and uh, this provider will take in some props which would be session and that would be piece props.session and inside here we can paste in our component and add our piece prop uh, down in here so everything looks fine and let's um, rename this to app and also change this to app and let's hit save uh doing as per uh, the documentation is footer as well and let's remove this stuff as well so now uh inside here we want to import sign in sign out and use session so uh as we discussed use session hook helps us to uh, access if the user is authenticated right now or not uh, which can be taken from um, next auth and client so so now uh, inside here let's create a constant and add session and loading session right here which we can take from use session hook so after that has been added we can now further check whether uh, the application is in loading state so if loading session then we will be returning some jsx and we We'll add some p tags and add loading here if it's not in loading state then we can return this uh, head is fine 
So now down below here, uh, we can check whether uh, there is actually a session or not. If there is no session, then we will render this particular thing. We will just have our fragment for now and we will also add a button and uh, we will give it class name lit later on. So I will just add an on click handler to this one, which should be sign in. And uh, let's also add a sign in here. So so if there is session, so everything is inside of our documentation. So um, as you can see here, use session. If there is session, then we can return some JSX. If there is no session, we can return something else. So uh, which I uh, use as use session hook. So uh, we are pretty much um, following our documentation. So session, then uh, we can add some JSX inside here. So if there is session, we will add um, these uh, thing in, inside of our UI, which should be just um, h4 and which takes in a user dot email from our session uh, which is from this uh, particular session um, consent we declared here and uh, which gives us uh, everything that uh, the user um, is about its name email and an avatar and we are okay with our app so now let's move ahead and see it in the browser let's open up our terminal so inside of our terminal let's hit yarn run dev and after everything has been spinned up locally we can hit towards localhost 3000 and here we can see a simple heading and a button so before we go ahead and click this sign in uh, we want to move ahead uh, to our configuration uh, where we need to grab some API keys and here I will show you how you can grab your own API key go to credentials and go to create credentials and you want to select OAuth client ID and inside this OAuth client ID you need to tie uh, like select uh, whatever application you are and also give it um, origin like uh, localhost 3000 and also authorize redirect URL and hit on create after you have created you should see something like this that's um, inside of uh, this particular section with I uh, client ID and here you uh, you would get your client ID so uh, this is how you can generate your client ID and place it inside of .n file basically we haven't created .n but we can create .n right now so I'll just go ahead and create .n and inside here I'll grab in some um, environment variables that I have created and paste it right in here so after everything has been added to your .n files let's go ahead and give it a refresh everything should work fine let's go to sign in and we can see that uh, with this particular black screen where we can click in sign in with google it says mi uh, missing required parameter client id because we need to uh, restart our server again and let's go to localhost 3000 and go to sign in sign in with google it seems like we have just added google id there so let's name this google id and uh, let's also rename this one to um google secret and let's go to our localhost 2000 we go to sign in sign in with google and choose whatever account you are comfortable with and after hitting um and choosing that account we can successfully see that our all the details has been added to the screen which is generally taken from this particular um session uh, consent we created uh, and we are accessing username email and avatar so uh, this is basically how you create an authentication. So now let's move ahead and uh, create our protected routes. For our protected routes, we will go ahead and create two small files here, which would be our home screen.js and another file which would be profile.js just to uh, you know test out and conditionally render um, some UIs based on the session exist or not so inside of our profile.js let's first import use session and uh, we will also create a function and uh, let's export the default function and call it profile and inside here we will create a constant that constant will hold uh, the current session and uh, that can be accessed from use session hook as we discussed before so now let's add some conditional statements here where if we have the session then we will uh, not render anything but instead 
get we will return just uh, p tag and add you are authenticated and uh, basically uh, basically when we are authenticated when uh, not authenticated when the state is loading so um, let's hit save and close our profile and let's move on to our home screen so inside of our home screen we want to first import get session and obviously import styles first and um, we also want to um, create a default export function export default function and call it home screen which will um, take user as a prop destructure from the prop and um, we will also be returning some JSX here so uh, the thing that we'll be returning uh, inside of JSX would be just a user name and user email which is accepted from uh, this particular props that's this structure here so now uh, the main thing that we need to add right here is get server uh, side prop um, which helps us to uh, authenticate or protect our route from you know visiting the users uh, and uh, to use it basically get server side prop is pre-rendered uh, the piece on the each request using the data it retrieves from the server so uh, we, we can just add an async function and call it get server and pass it um, context context in here and let's uh, create a constant which holds the session and we will uh, wait for get session um, and pass down our context here which helps us to determine whether uh, the user uh, is authenticated or not so uh, basically we can just check if the session doesn't exist then we uh, we can add this particular piece of code so if the session doesn't exist we can um, use this context that has been passed in um, and write uh, response dot write head and it should be 302 and also uh, we'll, we can add location and go to um, home route if the session doesn't exist so uh, also we can add context.response.end so we want to end all the context response and um, also return uh, empty object so uh, if it's not the case then we can return props and also user from session.user so this is basically it so it's basically checking whether session exists or not if uh, it does exist we um, will assign this user as a session.user and we are accessing this particular user from um, uh, and passing down here and accessing it inside of our template so now let's hit this, uh, save now uh, let's go back and refresh and we should see our dashboard here so we should see our home screen here and as you can see here uh, our home screen is here which is dashboard which is protected route and welcome to dashboard and here is the name and if we go back and hit enter and sign out and again go to the home screen so this should be um, capital letter so um, we can just go home screen now and you, you, we can see that everything is redirected in the root screen not the home screen yeah this is basically it so let's go to our profile page where we can um, see the conditional rendering if it's um, not authenticated you are not authenticated so if it's authenticated we should see you are authenticated so where we just checked whether we have the session there or not so this is how we can uh, implement some basic uh, authentication mechanism with NextAuth inside of our next app so uh, yeah in this video we learned uh, about how we can uh, set up a basic authentication with NextAuth with Google provider as provided uh, in the documentation so if you guys want to learn more about the topics around design and development please like share and subscribe with a click down below thank you uh, so much guys see you in the next one